It's important to know and hear your mistakes so you can improve with your electric guitar playing. Don't get used wrong. What I mean by this, when you are practicing something, a song for example, you're going to do a lot of mistakes. So when you're doing those mistakes, it's very important to recognize those mistakes, what you're doing wrong. Might be riffs, some parts where you're chasing strings, scales, playing a solo, bending, doing hammer pull-offs, tremolo picking, tapping, or whatever it is in the song. What I'm saying that just make sure that you're not giving your brains a green light for mistakes, that you're okay, you're playing something through, I'm doing things uh, right because I think I'm doing things right. That's the way you are pretty much allowing yourself to learn with wrong mindset. Or you are allowing your mistakes to be played as you would be playing those correctly. So this might, it might be sound a bit like messed up, but when you're doing the mistake or mistakes, acknowledge those mistakes and then go for the mistakes and like fix them. It might be the, the song you're practicing is really difficult. So you basically have to stop with very slow speed so you can correct those mistakes and going for the next one and so on. When I'm doing a guitar cover, I'm first of all training the song. I'm training it as I would play it live in front of people. But when I'm actually going for the song, recording root on my lead guitars, from beginning to end, there's almost every video have mistakes there, even one mistake or more. There aren't many covers I've pretty much played from beginning to end without any mistake. It's, it's, it's very rare. So this is why you might see when I have like three minutes of me playing and then there is a camera angle change, that might be a place where I just did minor or a more major mistake. But I'm allowing that because I already trained the song, I can play it without recording, so I'm playing it good enough. I can do that mistake correcting step by changing the angle for the camera. But the point here, what I'm saying that when I'm playing a cover, there might be, for example, seven mistakes during the song. It's important to acknowledge those mistakes. Okay, I'm doing a mistake here, here, here and here. I'm not really trying to be a perfectionist when I'm playing. So I might fix those mistakes or just let, let them be there. But it's important to acknowledge the mistakes so you can always improve and do better for the next cover or song you're playing. Good thing is that when you're in a state of practicing or learning a song, there are many parts that you're not nailing it. They're too difficult. So it's really good advice to play that song from zero to the end, record it to Reaper or any software, and then checking all those mistakes there where you can improve. So then you can correct those mistakes, I learn from the mistakes, and then you can move on. So basically when you're playing something, okay, you're doing the cover, like I'm playing the cover. Let's say there is a, a very easy solo in Amon Amar song. There might be some bendings or some some stuff that I first of all maybe maybe forget to play in the song during I'm playing the cover or then I didn't realize there was this kind of thing. So then I might be seeing that okay I should have done other way during the cover during the playing. This is not uh, like played in the original song. But of course you can always play with your own style and do own own additions to the song. So it's not like you're doing wrong something that's not played in the original song. As long as you it sounds good and you're like doing things right. If you're hitting wrong notes or doesn't sound good with certain technique, it's always good to like take, okay, here's the mistake. It's all right to have this mistake, but recognize and acknowledge the mistake for future. So you know what's going on. So whatever you're playing, learning, always try to see where are the mistakes. You might be playing 90% of the song like good enough that, okay, this is, this is good. My brains are allowed to see this as very correct play. But the rest, 10%, there are uh, places where you tell your, tell your brain that, okay, here are the spots I'm doing mistakes that need to be recognized for the future, that I will be playing these things and learning these things for the future, so I play better. So again, not saying you should be perfectionist and do things with a perfect way, as many people might do, because learning an instrument, any instrument, especially electric guitar, is an ongoing process, and it's all about learning all the time. So you can repeat mistakes million times as long as you acknowledge them they are mistakes so you can correct them fix them so then you hear now it's played correctly just find solutions for the mistakes if you are not sure if you're doing things right or learning right there's always good advice ask someone who's better player than you or ask advice from a teacher guitar teacher but remember that there, it's always air knowledge and point of view what should be done even if they're doing good even if they're telling you good advices for techniques or playing 
always take the notes up, implement those, advice for your own defined playing style. That's important. You don't need to copy paste someone else. You can play as freely as you want, as long as you learn from the mistakes and you try to do things better, you eventually become a good player. So if you don't want to use your pinky finger, it's alright. You can play without your pinky finger and just use three fingers. But it's a good thing to use to your pinky finger, because it pretty much helps with your playing with certain techniques and faster songs with faster solos. So it's something you should take into your playing just for your own learning curve, but you don't need if you don't want. All Best follow your own path and visio how you want to play your guitar. See you in the next video.